and welcome back to my channel. I am so incredibly excited for today's video because we are doing a full first impression demo brand review and wear test on Quo Beauty's new products. If you are a Canadian subscriber, you would know that Shoppers Drug Mart does have their in-house makeup brand, which was formerly called Quo Professional, I believe. They have since taken all those products off of their shelves and relaunched a new brand, completely new products under the line of Quo Beauty. If you're interested in seeing all of these new super exciting products, then just keep on watching. The first product that we have to test out in the Quo Beauty range is their liquid foundation. This is such cute packaging. The whole Quo professional brand previously had more like sleek, high-end kind of makeup artist vibes, silver and black packaging. The packaging on this new Quo Beauty brand is much younger, millennial inspired, I feel was the target demographic. All of the products say 100% vegan and cruelty free. So the foundation I got is their liquid foundation eight hour wear. You get 40 milliliters, which is actually a little bit more than the typical like fluid ounce that you would get. And I got mine in porcelain N1. So this is their lightest, their lightest neutral, but also their lightest shade I believe I picked out. It appears that their products also come in a larger, wider, more diverse shade range than the previous Quo products came in. I feel like they had a pretty crappy shade range to be honest. It'd be like four shades and I would always be too light to use anything. But this foundation I believe came in like around 15, 20. As I said, I'll link everything down below. And then I also picked up one of the Quo Beauty blending sponges. I don't typically like their sponges or haven't in the past, but I figured for this video, I would pick it up. This is the, they have so many. This is just says blending sponge on it. Let's go in and test this foundation already. I feel like I have so many things to say and I'm just all over the place and like genuinely excited to try this stuff. I love doing first impressions videos and like when a full new range comes out, it's just very liquidy, which doesn't surprise me based on like the kind of packaging here. That coverage looks really good actually. And the color and tone looks really nice for me as well. I didn't think I would like this sponge, but it's doing the job. I'm honestly shook at that coverage. Looking at one side, this is no foundation, obviously, even though my breakouts are much worse on this side of my face. Um, and then that's one side with the foundation. It looks really nice. It looks really skin-like and very healthy. It's definitely a thinner consistency, which is usually what I prefer. Gave me really, really nice coverage. As I said, there wasn't any like claims about coverage on here. It literally just says liquid foundation, eight hour wear, but I was worried about it being too matte. Doesn't look too matte at all. Looks, you guys know, I'm happy with how it looks on my skin right now. It looks really, really lovely. Now I picked up their Miracle Cover Concealer and this is in Porcelain N1. You get 8.5 grams in here, which I think again is a little bit more than the average. I assume this concealer is formulated to go with the foundation. So I think they should work really nicely together. I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal any spots that I have, which I don't really need to do too much because the foundation actually did a really nice job. I am gonna go ahead and blend this out with my Quo sponge, but I am a little nervous or like apprehensive to blend it under the eyes because I feel like it's not gonna get as close as I want it to. We will see. It's really nice and just like healthy looking on the skin. Blending out really nicely. Really, really liking how that's looking. It just looks very healthy on my skin. It did add some more coverage, sitting really nicely under the eyes. Um, I was right about the sponge. It's a little bit hard to really get in there under the eyes. I am gonna go ahead and lightly set my face all over with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in One Fair, just super lightly under the eyes, on the lids, and all over the face with a BH Cosmetics Super Fluffy Powder Brush. I am really, really impressed with that that concealer and foundation so far and even the sponge I think it did a really nice job even though my expect my expectations for that weren't great I was impressed so I'm really happy with how things are looking so far now we are going to move in to some products to sculpt and brighten the complexion up so I picked up one of the new all these products are new I picked up the Quo Beauty bronzing powder they came out with 
four different shades, I believe. And I picked up the lightest, more shimmery bronzer just because it was kind of different from what I have in my collection. This is their bronzing powder in the shade Honey Glow. Comes in like a little tin package, which I actually think is really cute, sleek. I like it. That there is how the bronzer looks. Again, that's their bronzing powder in the shade Honey Glow 1. So I'm going to go in and test this out with my Sephora Collection Pro Mini 55. It's the same as the Sephora Pro Collection 55. It's just the mini version. I feel like especially with this YouTube world and being so into makeup, it's pretty, pretty rare that I try a product knowing nothing about it going into it. Oftentimes when I purchase a product, I'll have seen so many people's opinions on it there'll be so many reviews and stuff so it's kind of exciting but like also i feel like i'm going into everything very blind right now because i don't know anyone's opinions on it because these products are so new it's very smooth on the skin and i really like the tone of that the shimmer doesn't appear to be too intense even like really up close i don't really see many shimmer particles like on my face when you look at the product in the pan you can definitely tell that it has a shimmer to it but on the cheeks itself i'm not really getting that it's very soft and smooth and bronzy that's really really pretty i went fairly slash very heavy-handed with the bronzer just because i think it's really really pretty seriously no complaints with that i think it looks really really nice on the skin good color great finish now we are going to move in to a highlighter I'm very excited about this as well, especially because I've been loving everything so far. It makes me want to try more and more of their products. So this is the Quo Beauty Highlighter Duo. They do have single highlights available as well, but I figured this was like $2 more expensive and you got a full extra highlighter. Two highlighters in here and they're 8 grams each. So that there is how the two highlights look. You have the more white light highlight and then like a rose gold pinky highlight. I'm going to go ahead and do the the more rose gold one. I'm using my Morphe R36 brush to apply this. Ooh, okay, that is way more intense than I, th wow, that is way more intense than I thought it was going to be. So that was just the rose gold shade that I've used so far. I'm going to go in now with the brighter white highlight. I'm nervous about this one now that I know how intense they are. I'm just going to go in with a little bit and like top up that other shade. I'm not blown away with this just because of the shades in here aren't like my personal favorite, but the formula is really really nice the blush that i ordered did unfortunately break so i'm gonna go in with a different blush the blushes do come in this same tin packaging and the blushes come in like eight shades i want to say there's a really good amount of blush shades and a lot of them look really pretty so once they're in store and i know they're not going to break in transit i will definitely be picking up some of those blushes especially because i really do like the bronzer and the blush shades just look gorgeous and right up my alley but because we don't have that today i'm just gonna go in with milani luminoso keep with that like bronzy glowy vibe and pop this on my cheeks we are going to go in and fill in our brows so i picked up two of the quo beauty brow products brow pomade and you get 3.2 grams in this guy and i picked mine up in the shade blonde 73 this definitely is a more warm toned lighter brow color than i normally go for i normally go for something more like taupe and then for the brow gel this is the brow defining gel you get three milliliters again cruelty free vegan and this is in blonde 36 so we have blonde 73 and blonde 36 i'm gonna try this pomade out with the anastasia number 12 brow brush which is my preferred brush for doing my brows with a pomade product feels like a softer more slippy formula than the Anastasia one but that could also just be be because it's brand new I think the shade is okay for me I actually really like it but the product itself just seems like kind of thin and slippy and it's hard to be very precise with it but I am very excited to try it this and I'm just going ahead and applying it in my brows making sure to concentrate a little bit more on the front it's very, very pigmented. Even though the brush is very little, a lot of product seems to 
cling to the brush so you have to be careful really careful to make sure there's the least possible amount of product on the brush because it is very pigmented and easy to glump up um, but I would be really interested in seeing how it looks on days where I just use the gel I think it might be really good for that especially now we are going to move on to eyeshadow which I'm so freaking excited for so they came out with a bunch of eyeshadow palettes actually they have like some 12 pan ones and then some bigger ones I didn't really like the looks of any of those but they did come out with two different eyeshadow quads and I was very very interested in both of these I decided just to pick up one in case I don't end up liking the formula this is the quad that I picked up with like a champagne a more taupey neutral shimmer a nice warm crease shade and then a nice bright Coral. So these are the two shimmers. They're pretty patchy. I don't even think you'll be able to see them. So you can see there that those swatch a lot better than these shimmers. So we have the brown crease, really nice warm brown shade, and then the coral. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start off with the brown shade there, just using a super fluffy crease brush from Pixi. kind of wish this quad was all mattes or they had a quad that was all mattes because I do like the way this brown is looking and I like the looks of that coral shade but the shimmers are just like not what they should be. I'm now going to go in with this coral color and I'm going to pack it all over the lid bringing it into the crease with this morphe brush this is just like a flat shader kind of brush build this up all over the lids i feel like this has a little bit of shimmer in it too or just like a sheen my camera just overheated so i just took the time off camera to go ahead and put that coral shade all over my lid and then I also smoked it out with a pencil brush on my lower lash line. I know it looks crazy right now and I am really liking the color but the formula is quite dry and flaky. I'm getting a lot of fallout. Not loving so far. I am going to try and put the lighter more golden shimmer shade so not the more taupey one but the more warm toned one. I'm gonna try just putting that on like the center of my lid kind of as like a halo eye. Kind of shows up. It's like very chunky as well. Here's how the shadow looks. Um, I'm obviously not blown away by that palette or even very impressed. Probably my least favorite thing I've tried so far. I think the colors that they chose are very pretty, but the formula is just not on par. I will not be purchasing any of the other shadows. I do have a liner to play with. I picked up one of their liquid precision markers. This is, you get one milliliter of product and I picked up the shade Espresso. I think a brown will complement this eye look really nice as well. I think a black would be too harsh with this look, but I think a brown will be really pretty. So I don't think I'm going to do a wing. I think I'm just going to line the upper lash line to give a little more definition. I think it's really, really nice, really pretty pretty much everything I would want in a brown felt tip liner. Very pigmented. We'll kind of see how quickly it dries out, but that's not something I'll be able to gauge for a little while. But for now, I think it's really nice. Goes nice with the eye look. Quo Beauty didn't have any mascaras that really interested me. So I am going to go off camera quickly and curl my lashes and then use my favorite mascara, little primer and mascara combo from Marc Jacobs. Then we will be on to lips and my final thoughts. So I will be right back once I've applied my mascara. None of the lipsticks or matte products really spoke to me and I really like to swatch lip products So I just went ahead and picked up the one lip thing that really intrigued me and then once the products are in store I'll probably pick up some more here and there. So I picked up the Quo Beauty Lip Boost Plumping Gloss I thought this looked the packaging is very cute and I got mine in the shade basic 06 All of their lip products come in a pretty wide array of shades, which I really like as well Yeah, I was right they're fairly opaque so you can definitely use this as like a one and done lip product super super glossy very pretty definitely tingly and I really like that shade that's just like my classic pink shade I totally understand why they called it basic I just want to go through super quickly all of the products yay or nay them and then I will do my final check-in with you guys before I go to bed in a few hours foundation and concealer are definitely a yes very very impressed with these gonna keep playing with them but as of now I'm very very impressed 
impressed surprisingly impressed with this sponge I will have to try it out with different foundations but with that foundation and concealer combo the sponge is a go for me I think this one is really really nice the bronzer I am a huge fan of actually again this is in honey glow I think the formula is really nice blended amazingly the color is pretty it just looks really really nice on my skin so the bronzer at least in this shade is definitely a thumbs up for me I really really enjoy this I think the highlighters are good especially for the price you're getting two full-size highlighters here so if you have fair skin I think it's worth it I'm gonna say no to the pomade I just like my Anastasia one better but I will keep playing with it and keep using it obviously I like the brow product but it's very pigmented and wet so you have to be very precise with it unfortunately the eyeshadow I'm gonna have to say is a pass as well I created a pretty look with it but I just don't think it's worth it for the price precision marker I really do like this is a go for me I think it's really really nice we'll see how long it lasts lip boost plumping gloss I think this is really pretty it's very wet looking which is what I personally like in a gloss and I like this color honestly overall I would say I am surprisingly impressed with these products I didn't think I would love them as much as I do a little bit of a change of plans I just finished eating dinner it is now almost eight o'clock I was called in to work tomorrow when I wasn't supposed to be returning back to work till the weekend so now I have to get my life together I'm gonna have to be going to bed early so I won't be able to do a wear test that long anyway and I pretty much know my thoughts on all the products anyway I think that the foundation and concealer looks really good I'm actually gonna wear this to work tomorrow I think it looks really nice so thank you so much for watching I hope you guys like this I had a lot of fun filming it actually and just trying like all new products that I've never heard anyone talk about before let me know if you've tried any of these let me know what you're interested in definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already it really does help me out here on my channel and as always I hope that you had an absolutely awesome day and thank you so so much for watching bye